Hello, my name's Luke Zadkovich. I'm a partner at the law firm Floyd Zadkovich, and we're putting on this uh, arbitration series with um, Zyla Partners, the law firm in Vienna, Austria. Tyler Floyd Zadkovich, one global team focused on what you do. Uh, today, I'm going to speak to you about commodity arbitration. Now, this is a, um, a subset of arbitration and in many ways it is like any other type of arbitration. It's based on um, an arbitration agreement uh, in a commodity sales contract where you have a buyer and a seller who are um, buying and selling uh, a commodity and in that contract uh, ordinarily they will agree on um, some type of dispute resolution uh, mechanism and today we're focusing on those commodity contracts that um, have a arbitration agreement in them. And in most instances, those, um, those arbitration agreements in commodity contracts will incorporate um, institutional rules. That is not always the case. And we do see um, uh, on occasion arbitration agreements that are ad hoc, meaning that they do not incorporate um, institutional rules, but invariably uh, in the commodity arbitration um, context, you will see um, various institutional rules incorporated in an arbitration agreement. Um, and that is often because um, the, um, the players in this market uh, want to have um, rules that are um, agreed upon and put together by associations or collectives or other representative bodies of that particular industry. So we see in the grain industry, for example, um, GAFTA is an association there that has GAFTA arbitral rules. Similarly in phosphor, um, which is fats and oils, uh, they also have their own rules the LME for the London Metals Exchange, it also has a set of um, rules that govern arbitrations on the LME. Um, and so these, these different types of uh, institutional rules um, uh, seek to deal with disputes that arise on those specific types of contracts. Um, and each of them work much like any institutional rules. Sometimes they have, um, uh, they have um, structures and procedures in place that are more expeditious, depending on uh, the, um, the level of the, the claim and how significant it is. Uh, they also often deal with um, quality and quantity issues that are quite um, specific to that type of commodity trade. Um, but that said, you also have uh, all of the other types of arbitral and arbitration law issues arise in commodity arbitrations as well, around the appointment of arbitrators, um, having a, a supervisory court overseeing um, the, the arbitration, which will be based on uh, the procedural law, that is the law of the, the seat of the arbitration. Um, and uh, in, in some of these uh, uh, arbitral rules, they have um, levels of appeal, so you can actually appeal uh, within another set of um, arbitrators that are um, part of the association. And depending again on the seat of the arbitration, you have perhaps rights to appeal to a court on a point of law, for example, in England, if that is not contracted out of um, by the parties. And so it, it's quite an, an interesting area. Um, uh, there's a lot to say about commodity arbitration. It is, as I say, a subset of um, international arbitration more generally, uh, and um, parties that regularly trade on commodity contracts like to use these, these types of um, uh, arbitration agreements because they um, are seen to cater for their industry. That said, we do also see many uh, commodity contracts, typically the larger contracts and those that might be for multiple 
um, uh, deliveries and shipments over a long period of time, uh, incorporate the ICC rules and the LCIA rules, which is London Court of International Arbitration. Um, and uh, those rules have a, a more uh, thorough, sophisticated process um, involved with them. The costs are often more expensive as well. Um, but for those larger claims where uh, you want a, a very robust um, procedure in place, much like a court would operate um, uh, at the outset, the, the parties will often agree on, um, as I say, ICC, LCIA, it could be AAA in, in the US um, and others. Uh, you've got uh, SEAC in Singapore, SEATAC um, in, in China and the HKIAC in Hong Kong. There are others, including in, in the Middle East. Um, that's a, a snapshot of commodity arbitration. I hope you found this interesting.